Hey everyone, my name is Mr. Delicious and welcome to another quick stream tip video. Now, of course, I think all of us Twitch streamers love getting raided on our streams by someone else in the community. The feeling that someone thought that out of those million people that are currently live at the exact same time as you are, that they thought that your stream was worthy to send their community over, I think is just one of the most amazing feelings there is on Twitch. Now, of course, usually we thank these people by giving them a shout out in the chat. And sometimes we even have some more special effects, like for instance, my raid Polaroid that I showed in an earlier video. Hey, we're gonna raid, look at that. But usually when someone raids, you always introduce yourself and the way that you play your games to the people that come in. However, there's also people that have already been watching you on your stream that are being introduced to a new person that is coming in and to a new community as well. However, we usually don't really get to know anything about them. And this effect is perfect to introduce the person that is coming in with the raid to your own community. And what better way to do that than by showing off their own stream. Now, I saw this effect a couple of weeks ago in the stream of a good friend of mine named the British Andy. They were playing a game and I raided them and all of a sudden he said, you know what, I'm gonna show you exactly what Mr. Jorlicious' stream is all about. And I was like, wait, what's he gonna do? How is he gonna show that? And then he did this. Hey, shall, shall, we, shall we see a clip? Shall we see a clip of, of what Geordie does? What does Geordie get up to on his streams? Let's find out, shall we? Doing it? You constantly turn on you're being a good streamer. <laughs> Son of a... Oh, it got clipped. <laughs> oh, it got clipped all right. It got clipped all right. <laughs> he showed me a clip of my own stream to everyone watching. When I saw that, I was so impressed and so blown away by that effect that I thought, well, that is so awesome. I want to know how he does that. But luckily, he told me instantly, use a website where you can sign up. It's called twitch.guru. And you can basically implement that effect as a browser source into your own stream. However, we like to make things ourselves and we like to keep things locally. And with Leo on board, this is something that you can do very easily. So I set out to recreate this effect myself, and I think that I've done a pretty good job at that. Now, before we move on with the rest of the video, I quickly want to touch up on a new site that I've been using. It's called Kofi, and on this side, you will be able to find all my future quick stream tip assets and effects that you can download there for free and you can support me on that site as well by buying me a coffee. And the reason that I bring this up is that this rate effect is also going to be downloadable on that site for free as of right now. So go to the website in the link in the description down below, download this effect from the site and I will show you exactly how you can install it yourself in Leo on board. Now before we install anything, there's a few things that you need to have already. Of course, you need to have OBS Studio and Leo on board fully updated. Sadly, this doesn't work in Streamlabs OBS. So if you're still using it and you want to use this effect, I suggest just making the switch to OBS Studio because it's going to make your life a lot easier. Now on top of that, there's a few other things that you need to have. For OBS, you need to have the shader filter plugin installed and updated. And then for Leo on board, we also need to have a few extensions, namely the Get Profile Picture extension, the Get Twitch Clip extension, and lastly, we need to have the Get Clip Length extension. All of them will be linked in the description down below so you can download them on their respective websites. And moving on to the fun part, which is installing everything in Leo on board. And once you've downloaded all the files from my Kofi store, you need to unzip them into the Leo on board folder. To go to your Leo on board folder, go to the receiver folder, go to the ext folder over there, and then unzip them over here. And then once you've done that, you will see this folder up here, which is the raid shout out folder. And in that, you will see all the files that we're gonna need in order to install this effect. Now installing this effect is super simple. Once you've opened Leo on board, make sure that everything is connected. So your OBS is connected and of course your Twitch is as well. And then simply click the install extension button, select the extension file, and, and we're going to go to the raid shoutout folder and we're just simply going to select this file, the .lbe file. We're going to open that and as soon as you do that, you will see a new scene is being made and, you, and in a few seconds you will see that it has been installed successfully. So click this and it's a new deck here as well. And once we go to the scene, you will see exactly what it has installed. So this is the way that it looks when you download this. Of course, you can all set this up and you can change the way that this looks for yourself, but I thought I'd made a very generic and basic scene for this so that everyone can go ahead and change the look and feel of this scene to fit their own streams. Now, a couple of things. Um, these two browser sources are, of course, kind of important because they are going to be dynamic. They're going to fill with the clips of your radar and, of course, the profile picture as well. And then these two text sources, if you want, you can just change them, delete them, do whatever you want. And of course, you can move this around wherever you want to have it. 
Um, you can center it, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. Once you've installed it from Leon Board, you can basically do everything with this, as long as you make sure that these two browser sources remain the same and you don't rename them. Otherwise, things are not going to work anymore. So basically, what this does is once you use a command in your chat, it can be used by you as a streamer or one of your moderators. Once you use a command with the username of the person that has rated you, it will load a random clip from their channel and play it on this scene. And also, of course, it will show their profile picture in this little icon over there. Now, one thing that you do need to do, though, is you need to go into your Leon board deck. You need to right click on this clip height and scene switch and you need to edit the command and you need to actually set a scene here that you want to go to after your clip has played. So the way that I've set this up myself is that once I use the command, it switches to this scene and then once the clip is done, it will go back to my just chatting scene. Now, of course, this is something that you can decide for yourself. So just select the scene here that you want to go to after your clip has played. If you don't want to go anywhere or you want to do it manually, you can just delete this command altogether as long as this one at the top remains the same. Now, the way that this works once you've installed everything is very simple. I've got my Twitch chat over here and when someone comes in with a raid, you just need to type an exclamation mark SO clip for shout out clip. And then after that, the username of the person that has rated you. Now make sure that you just type the username, don't use the at sign, otherwise things won't work. So I'm just going to do a random example here. SO clip and a good friend of mine, Light Lionheart. And as you will see, a clip of him will begin playing immediately. And of course, normally it will switch to this scene, clip will begin playing, and then after that it will switch out. But for this example, we just stay on this scene, and you will see here the clip is being played. Now once the clip is done playing, it will hide itself automatically. The only thing that will remain is the profile picture in the lower right corner over there. But that's basically it. As you can see, I also set it up that the raider is being shouted out in the chat again, and the link to that clip is being linked there as well. So the clip that we just saw is being linked so that people can also watch it later. If they missed this effect, for instance, they can watch it later over on the Twitch website as well. And of course, it's a very simple way for the people. If they like this clip, they can click on this link and they can instantly follow the streamer as well. Now, like I said before, you can always change the way that this scene looks and feels for you. The way that I've set mine up is in a way that I think matches with my own stream, of course. And I highly suggest you guys do the same. Add your own backgrounds or your own logo. Add things to that scene. But again, as long as the browser sources remain intact. All of the information on setting that up and things that you can and cannot do are uh, of course also in the readme file that you can find in the download there as well so be sure to check that out if you want to know exactly how you can change the scene to your liking now i just wanted to go and quickly show you how i've set mine up so that you guys know how that is going to work now for that i'm going to quickly go over to my stream layout so i can show you exactly how it works when someone comes in with that raid all right i'm here in my regular streaming layout so I'm going to show you exactly how this effect works. Once someone comes in, everything happened. We got my raid Polaroid. I gave them a shout out, all that kind of stuff. But now I'm going to introduce my community to the person who just came in. So I'm going to ask one of my moderators to use, again, exclamation mark, SO clip. So we go here, the curtains slowly open. Actually, and when they open, we see a different. random clip as being pulled from the channel of the person that came in with the raid. So the clip is going to play instantly. Everyone's going to hear it, of course. And once the clip is done playing, we go back to my just chatting scene. We're back here again and here we can just continue. And that's the way that I've set it up for myself. And that's how easy it is to install this effect to your own stream. Now, if you want to see this effect for yourself live, I suggest you rate my stream. But of course, if you're not a streamer yourself, you can always drop by and hope that someone comes in so we can use this effect and thank them for sending their community over to us. Now, I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So be sure to check me out and don't be shy to say hi because I always love meeting new people in the chat. Now, if you install this effect yourself and you have any questions about this or any of the other effects that I put up, you're more than welcome to jump into my Discord. I got a special stream tips help channel over there so you can ask any questions that you may have over there and I will always try my best to assist you in any way that I can. And of course, you can always follow me on Twitter as well where you can find updates on new and future products that are going to be put up on my Kofi store. And lastly, I just want to say that if you want to support my YouTube channel and you like this video, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and of course ring the bell so you know exactly when a new video is being put up. Now that's it for me for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and again thank you for all your support and the last thing that I have to say is that my name is Mr. Delicious. You are all extremely delicious yourself as well. Take care, good luck and happy streaming. I did it! I did it! I did it! I think... Oh, we need to clip that! I think I finally did it! I think focusing on the melody of the, of the song, I think that's what did it!